I loved Spy. I saw it three times in theaters, once for a press screening and two with a general audience. And I went with a friend of mine and she loved it too. So this morning I was talking to her and I was like, Melissa McCarthy has a new movie coming out where she plays a superhero. And my friend was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. And then she stopped herself and she was like, wait a minute. Did her husband direct it? And I was like, let me look it up. And I was like, he did. And he not only directed it, but he wrote it too. Now, I'm happy they have such a great relationship, but it's been the pattern that when Melissa McCarthy makes a movie with her husband, it tends to be pretty bad. So I'm scared. Although to be fair, Paul Feig really let her down with Ghostbusters, so I guess there is no magic pairing for her. But when Melissa McCarthy is good, she's really good. And Octavia Spencer's here, so I really hope this is like the one good movie that Ben Falcone has ever made. All right, let's take a look. Please be good. There used to be a green tower alone on the sea. What does one of them have a superhero outfit on? That was a pretty good flip. Hi, I'm here to see Emily Stanton. Do you have an appointment? I'm her best friend. We're not currently what I would say best friends or friends. You look good. You look great. What have you been up to? Let me show you. I've been developing a genetic platform that will allow us to give ordinary people superpowers. But do me a favor, please. Don't touch anything. Oh, right in the face. Dear God, Lydia. Do you have any idea what you've oh. done? You just took our only formula for super strength. Everything about you will become stronger. Oh, I am all powerful! I think it's freed my groin! Do chicks have groins? Is that Catherine Hahn? What's your superpower? Invisibility. Ooh. That's awesome. Let's see what these powers can really do. Everyone just stay calm and no one's gonna get hurt. Ah! Em, stop! That's her husband, by the way. Now. And that's not oh, funny gag. Thunder Force, remember it. For the first time in history, we're seeing real life superheroes fighting crime. She's got one move, apparently. <laughs> but we're also seeing a new kind oh, of wow. thing this city deserves. What's coming to it? Boom. Is that. That couldn't have been Uma Thurman. It's go time. I know that Jason Bateman's in this oh, movie, too. Where's he? We've got to rethink this car. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. How can we not stop two chicks in their 40s? God, what's that smell? It's the suits. We can't wash them. Lydia, yeah. do not throw that bus. I can't hear you because I'm literally throwing a bus. So I guess she has super strength. It's super strength and invisibility. I'm sorry. That's on me. Bear. There he is. You'd think cancer, but uh, Capricorn actually is Sag Moon and all kinds of things rising. That's messed up. I hope that's not his only uh, part in the film. Who was that blonde woman? No, it's someone else. She's looking a lot like Uma Thurman, though. Eh, it looks like it belongs on streaming. I mean, I like superhero stuff, so I'm going to watch it. I'm going to review it. So, I'll, I mean, even if I wasn't going to review it, I would watch it for that reason. But, man, I wish that Ben Falcone had come up with this idea and then given it to someone else. Because this just looks, you know, it looks like, you know, lazy. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I don't think they really worked really hard on the jokes. Also, they also didn't work very hard in the casting. I mean, with all due respect to Bobby Cannavale, he's everywhere. He was in Spy. Uh, I wish Rose Byrne was in this movie, who's married to Bobby Cannavale, and I guess that's why he was in Spy. But I wish she was still around, or I guess that would make it too much like Spy. But, um, yeah. I mean... I don't know, I guess the gag is like real life superheroes wouldn't be that powerful, but then at the end of the day, the joke's on us because we're watching not too powerful superheroes. Also, superheroes have been so deconstructed at this point with all the movies and the, the, the live action series and the animated series. I mean, it's really, you gotta really work hard to mine new material. And as I said, this movie looks a little lazy to me. 
but I shall watch it. So people like superhero stuff. So in that way, in that way, it's money in the bank. So will you watch it? I bet almost every single one of you will say yes. Uh, I mean, it's on Netflix. Why not give it a shot? All right, so share your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.